Good morning, good morning guys. Welcome back to our channel, Best Cooking and Adventure. Thank you guys so much for all your support and thanks for watching. Um, so today is going to be a cooking day. Um, you know, we, we, we got a little parcel of some fish from Guyana. And you know how that does normally be. When, mostly for us, when we call like a parcel from Guyana, it's like Christmas morning, like a kid, you know, waiting to open it. And, um, you know, we couldn't wait. So we did get a little parcel of some fish and some fish egg. And we're going to be preparing it. I know I did this video before, but, yo, let's cook it again. This came straight from Guyana. So, um, you know, we don't get that kind of fish here. So it's going to be, it's not going to back up. It's going to be, um kuras so that's a nest form of catfish that we normally get in Guyana for those who don't know what kuras is and my dad my father and I everybody catch it back in Guyana I remember when I used to complain for not eating that fish like I don't want it no I don't want it and now it's like if I could pay whatever price for it I I, I would pay I want it and that's um the part in um, the US that we ha we are we don't have Guyana, like, like the fish and all of that. Even if you do got it, it's, you know, it's when somebody bring a piece of, um, you need that farm of catfish from Guyana, that's how you get it. Uh, so you go out and you buy it and it just don't taste the same. I tried and cooked the American catfish before and it was pretty good. They liked it. I think I did a video with the American catfish curry and it was, it was pretty good. It was pretty decent. It was not bad at all. But nothing like Guyana. So let me show you guys what we'll be cooking today. So here it is, guys. It's a nice fish egg. I can't wait. This is like most of us favorite in this house. And this is the caress. Well, my aunt is always, she always wash it and scrape it out. You see that? It does be more gray. So she always give it a good wash before she send it. So yep, everything is washed out. I'm going to rinse and just ready to bunge. So I'm going to um, do the egg. I will cut it out of the bag, like split the bag. Because for some reason, you know, you, you sometimes when you cook egg, the curry comes cloudy. So my, um, cause my sister did show me a way how you could get that out. So I will show you guys how I do that. But yep, so here is the fish. Oh my God. My mouth drooling already. So I have some of the stuff out here. I got some green mango, straight from Guyana too. And I got all these here. I'm gonna prepare the garlic, um, some tomatoes, green onions, scallions, shallot. So we're gonna get it going. So let me get this prepare up and ready to go. So, okay guys, remember I told you guys, I'm gonna show you guys how I do the egg. So I just put a little bit of salt in some water and I'm gonna let this boil. Well, I'm washing the egg out and I'm going to open the bags. So, and then I'm going to wait till this water really boiled and drop it in. And that's how I'm going to get it, you know, before I curry it. It's just like it got, I mean, this water got to be boiled. So, it just spent a two, like two minutes in there. You know, you don't want it overcooked too. So, you just give it like a two, it's like a rinse in, in some hot water, in some boiling water. Okay, you see how the water is a little cloudy already? There's one side out. So this is the egg. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take a scissors. I don't love my scissors. I do have better ones, but I couldn't. So I go in the bag here and just try not to bust the little eggs and just like that. Just like that. So um, I think we'll just make it cloudy too if some of the eggs burst. That's just my, I think, you know. You just open it like that a little bit. That's how you do it. And this, it was wash and come from Guyana, so I'm just gonna, you know, steam it out my way. <laughs> I'm pretty sure my, my aunt did a good job in Guyana and clean it for me and, and make sure it was nice. See? So that's how I'm gonna do it. Let me show you guys one more here. And this, oh my God, Bain, Isha, they love it. They call it little balls. <laughs> they call it little balls. Mom, can I have the little balls? 
that's it you just try open as much as possible that you can open it so here it is the water is boiling and here is my egg all nice and clean look at that goodness so now I'm gonna drop it in here and how I'm gonna drop it in I'm just gonna make it like like I said directly two minutes like steam in this water and I'm gonna take it out so you see how the water start change color already look at that it started to change the color so I'm gonna just dip it out soon as it's finish so as I throw it in here I'm gonna give it a stir I'm gonna give it a stir here and that's it I'm gonna pour it out so my curry shouldn't be cloudy let's let's see hopefully this work because it worked for my sister it worked for her but when she do things and I try to do it it never come the same way but we gotta try this okay so I'm gonna go and dip this out guys and um get back to you so guys it's already boiled you see so I didn't keep it in a long time and strain it out so here it is all nice and steamy ready to cook so I'm gonna go get all my stuff together to prepare and then we're gonna bunge this some nice fish egg curry so look at the setup here guys so I got the tomato already onion green scallion everything is over here okay guys so here we go this is the masala curry powder and a little salsa and this is for the fish and this here is masala salsa and curry powder for the egg I'm gonna do them separate so this is the setup here. I got my garlic and pepper grind there. I didn't have no green seasoning, you know. Well, you got to put what you get. I got my little green mango over there with some pepper on it too. I try not to put too much pepper because the kids do eat. This is Bane. Bane and Isha does eat. So nice piece head bar there, you see. We don't like so much flesh. So here we go. Let's get cooking. I'm in the kitchen. I smell curry curry today the masala curry powder and the salsa let this fry up a little bit first yeah I know I did it a little different I didn't put the um I didn't put the onion in and the same thing I'm gonna do for the fish let me put like a this and doing both yes so we're gonna put this oh the smelling nice Whew. and the masala hit there you see guys the masala down a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Same as here. I'm gonna add some water to this. Yeah, how you doing? I'm gonna add a little bit of water. Yeah. So it's just right here. So this is for the fish. I'm gonna do the same over here. Just a little bit. So now I'm gonna add the um, garlic and pepper. Garlic and pepper. I put some over here. Oh, it smells good. <coughs> smells so good, and it's the color too. Looks good, dear. So, I'm going to put the egg here. We're gonna add the tomatoes. This is for that. We're gonna add it for the fish. So we put it for the fish. Then we put some onion here. And then we put the rest for the fish here because the fish is more. And I'm gonna put oh I'm just put all the green onion over there. Okay, so we divide it. Okay, so this is the setup. For the egg, look at that. So everything cooked together here. And then this is the fish over here. Give this back some heat here. Okay. Looks so good. Mangoes. 
Oh. This mango, this came from there. Oh no. I'm gonna add a two piece in the egg. So to give it a little sour. Okay. So yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Here's the egg. So, so good. And smells so good already. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna add my salt right here. And as you can you see, come in my salad loose in here with fry on the eye. So I'm gonna add in the fish now. This is the fish one. I think it's so good to do it. Some nice for us for me. It has been a while since we had some. So it is gonna be so good today. And normally we had okra or so to put it. But there is no okra. Um, just don't tell Abigail this is Gilbaka. Every on <laughs> Chill face. I heard her on the video. It's <laughs> Gilbaka. <laughs> because she don't eat nothing like Gilbaka. So when I keep putting the next on Chill fish, I tell her it's... Um, she tricked me. She said it was Gilbaka. I told her it's Gilbaka. And now I realize I have her swimming for me. And now I'm a tag of chorus. But either way, she, if she know, she eat the tomato before she can. Yes, I'm gonna eat it. So it's okay. So now look how that looks good. So you make sure this mix up good. Pull it. Don't let it go. You cannot tell me that it'll look like gilbaka. Like gilbaka and look ek <laughs> and look so delicious and so appetizing, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah, so here we go. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna add a little bit of water. So this could bungee a little bit, a little bit of hot water. And you just like bungee a little bit, just be bungee. This is not for the gravy yet. Just for it to bungee, let the masala get going a little bit. Fish don't take long to cook. So you gotta be careful with your liquids. Okay, so that's for the fish. This is for the egg. I did add a little bit of hot water so the masala could cook really good. So I'm going to wait for this to let the masala cook good because egg is very funny. You don't want it over hard. You want it nice and moist. Well, some people, you cook it to your preference. So I'm going to let this cook, let the masala cook, let the mango cook and everything. And then I'm going to drop the egg in here. Okay guys, so this has been dry already. I better start with the water. I put hot water. And then I, I um, think so I put one set. So you put gravy to your liking. Like I will put it so you could, you know, boil the fish a little bit. And then you get just enough for the rice. So that's all the water I'm going to put. But you see, everything is intact. It just look like that. But everything on my fish is intact. So I'm going to let this boil. And when you go down there, that's it. My fish curry ready. And we're going to have the taste. Master, them coming. The taste master is being and his dad to do the Oh, wait, and you forget your aloe. I'm gonna clean. I'm just gonna put this girl here. So, this is now. So, I put the gravy in. I'm gonna drop the egg in. So, this is for the egg. So, I'm gonna drop the egg in now. So, let's see. This is the time. So, we're gonna put this in. Just to delicate. So drop it all in. Get it all in. Look, she, um, Abigail has been like, ew, but I like to eat it. It has to go mm -hmm. through the fire. That, that well, it's it, so sweet. It has to go through the curry. Come on, I can't it's eat so it like sweet. that. Mm -mm. So this now, this five to ten minutes depends on how you like on your liking. Five to ten minutes, this is all done. You like it nice and gummy, not too hard. Then you can enjoy it. You get it there. And we put it. Make sure that it's in the gravy. And you let it go down for like, like I said, not nothing more than ten minutes. When you're on the fire side, you got to be hurry up and make sure. But yeah, this is how we do the egg today. We do it. The fish curry go in here and it's almost done. So, yeah, just give it a, a little more 
a little bit of scallion more on it, green onion, shell, whichever you guys call it. And um, just on the top. Same thing I do here with the egg. You see the egg start by a lot there, like literally 10 minutes and you get in it. Turn it up. Still, you see, I, I, I was saying it still didn't come out like hers. Mine still turned a little thick. So if you guys know, like, what am I doing wrong with this? I mean, it is delicious. It's just, just my my gravy. I can't make it for it to be thin. Let me let, let me know what am I not doing? She teach me. She walk me through and through here, and I still didn't get it. I think my gravy still is gonna be thick. Looks good. Let's not be already. Yes, everything looks delicious here. And this was a big one. The fish is stiff like meat. See that? Look at the skin. Look at that. So we're having a taste test. Look at the goodness here. Look at the goodness here. Delicious. The egg. Look, you shall love it. Look. You shall want to come. You shall call it a squishy ball. <laughs> <laughs> you like it? Mm -hmm. This is good. Mommy did a good job. Mm -hmm. Mommy could be a good one. Mommy is good. I just take a couple of the eggs. Neil is tasting. Mm. Yummy. It's good. Delicious. Hi! Get a first in the fish. A squishy it's called bun. rice. I'm a squishy bun. I'm a squishy bun. I'm a squishy bun. <laughs> Good taste the freshness room. Mm -hmm. Fresh guy and a fish. Fresh guy and a fish. Yeah. Look Isha one more. Squishy ball. Delicious. Tastes good, Isha? I'm not leaving. Mm-hmm. So this is an old so this is an old caress, look. Mm -hmm. Big caress. <laughs> sure, it's yummy. Done. How's the egg? It's really worth it all. Yeah. It's worth it. I look at the best part, the egg. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Good? Good. Tina did a good job. She egg. No, ma'am, did a good job. Right, look. Right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, say bye. Bye. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for subscribing. Bye. Best cooking and adventure. Yeah. <laughs> yum yum. We're yum, gonna do yum. the rest of the eating behind yum. camera. <laughs>